Hey, we're here with Paul. Um, uh, from the what is this, the booster box in person test me show. This thing has like this thing's the title. Of this thing is too long. Yeah. Right. Uh, Paul. Hey, you got a. A tenth place. Out of what? Three uh, hundred. I think it was three eighty eight or three eighty nine or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, it was supposed to be like four hundred something, but a lot of people dropped. Or didn't show up. Didn't man, show man, up. I made it in. That's crazy. Thank you. Yeah, you made it in. That was good. And you did right. really good, too. Uh, 10 plays. Uh, what you play? Uh, I played Gecko Moria. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> yeah. And, uh, was it? You got the law? So you got yeah. law and you got the kid? And yeah, you got unfortunately, your... I didn't make it to top eight, even though I was X1. Uh, so I didn't make the serial shanks or the Luffy card. But, hey, you know what? I can't complain. Mm -hmm. Right. And these are all the final cards, but I'm not going to take Was it your second regional as well, right? Uh, in person, Oh, yeah. uh, your first in-person regional. Uh, how many regionals in total is this? Uh, four. four. Hey, fifty percent top. Yeah, is that is that yeah. top? Is that is that bad? All right. So, all right. Let's let's get started on the deck. All uh, right. So I have Moria. Mm -hmm. Um, I think Moria is arguably one of the best, if not the best, leader currently in OPO six. Arguments for both Sakazuki and Katakuri. Um, I still I think he's better specifically because he is surprisingly consistent with what he gets. And the cards that are with it that are not part of the consistency package of the bark is still something you see a lot. So you go through the deck list, guys. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much a lot of the standard stuff. Is uh, force injury. This is literally the main card of the deck. Um, in certain matchups, you literally will mulligan just for this card. If you don't see it, you can actually just straight up lose matchups mm. without playing this. It is absolutely imperative. Some deck lists for some reason run three. Don't ever. It's like absolute trash. They are wanting to lose. <laughs> they're, they're crazy. It's like this is a four of. Uh, if you could, you would run more. Uh, the only card in the deck you can argue running more. But the other four, uh, well, pretty much all filler barks. But this is probably the second most important card. You want to get this card either in your hand or milled from Sindri. And if you do, pretty much every single deck. You are in a complete uh, complete advantage. Playing this um, from Mori's effect, whether you go first or second, they will always have to trash it. Because they usually have five or six cards. And after that, it just came Um Also, the secondary effect, while rare, it is used in uh, specific scenarios. Did you resolve that at all? Uh, I, I used it once. Mm -hmm. I used it once from hand because I needed to specifically get rid of a Hidatsu and that's uh, funny <laughs> because I didn't have an Ice Age and I was just like you know what I'll get two bodies out so I played her from hand uh oh my god seven nine turn I played her from hand uh and I had five cards in hand I minus uh three and then I used leader ability with Gecko Moria I was played on and then trashed a Gecko build two and I got an absolute pops two bodies yeah it's funny it feels bad but I mean Hey, it, that's yeah, it works. Point. It works. It's very versatile. Uh, speaking of Absalom, also part of the Thrill Bar package, arguably just as important as the other two. This is your main pop. Yes, it only pops at two costs, but please do not be alarmed by that. Two costs goes a long way with a lot of this stuff in this deck that can lower cost. Very good. This effect always goes off. And the fact that you can trash is really, really strong. That's why a lot of people, especially in Sakazuki, Try to bottom deck. Mm -hmm. They just if they swing into it, please go ahead, I'll put it back in my trash. I can get it back. Um, speaking of recurring, of course, Doctor Hog. Oh, it's him, the Doctor. Um, I I was contemplating whether to run this at three or four. Um, I specifically just went to four because I just want again the consistency of this, just to be a target for glorious injury. Because there are a lot of times, even playing injury, it's just. You know, I also run the Navy package and stuff. Milling just all Navy, such a, like it happens, it's rare, but it happens. So some people run three to run tech choices. At that point, I was just like, you know, I'd just rather have targets. Um, and that's what he's here. He's here to either get Moria, which we'll go uh, in a second, or to get one of the two. I personally always go for Corona because the idea is this, that for the 2K to pick up, because if something happens and you happen to go over five cards, you still have that. Mm -hmm. um, or if you want to minus something, you have that. But when you're picking up a hogback, you're using it. Mm. 
Of course, the best card in the oh, deck, obviously, uh, is the uh, Ecos Moria. What, no, what a good yeah, design card. card. Yeah, this card is stupid. Um, I don't even need to say anything else on this. It's, it's just stupid. <laughs> I was joking around with everyone saying, wouldn't it be funny if it was on play? You get a five and a three, so you can play Sabo. <laughs> this but, guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got shut up wrong. Um, that's the Thrill of Arc package. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty standard. Pretty standard. Mm. Nothing changes. Uh, now to the Navy package. This is where uh, the list Oh, oh, it's spicy. This is where the so, spice is? Uh, a lot this is of, where Dune happens? Yeah, a lot of Moria will run four, sometimes three. I only run two. Mm. Specifically because you have six chances to see it, which is a lot. Mm -hmm. And even if you don't see it, honestly, brand new, I rarely ever play. Because mm. I want to play soon. Yeah. Most people will be like, oh, well, playing brand new is not bad. It's like, okay, but the whole idea of brand new, I would prefer to be in my trash anyway. Mm -hmm. Counter out. So that I can use Moria to get a card. Off add of it to my hand after playing more. Yeah. So if I can't remove anything with the two cards that are coming up from the deck, Halmepo and Rob Lucci, I'll do different plays, and the two costs will most likely be brand. So mm -hmm. I can get three more in my trash or 2K counter Suru, which we're about to talk about in a second. So that's why he's there for. He is also just in case I don't see Sindri. Uh, obviously, uh, for Suru, uh, anyone who tells you otherwise is wrong. Uh, this is not just the 2k, works off Moria's effect. One Don, minus two cost, top four cost blockers, top three cost blocker, Uda, whatever it is. It, it feels bad, but it has that versatility. Anyone who puts it at three or even two, I've seen someone do, they're doing it wrong personally. They do really well with it. They're just getting really, really lucky. And <laughs> yeah, I don't want to top end on it. Um, this is a controversial one. Most people run uh, two or sometimes one. I run three helmet. Oh, three? Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure, um, sure, yeah, yeah. This is arguably the most important uh, minus card in your pool. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel bad playing this from hand because it's three. Obviously, you can use the yeah, so enough off Moria. Moria, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But even doing it from hand is not that bad at all in the later Dawn turns. And then surprisingly, people will most likely leave this alone if they're trying to go for life and if they have like a 5k body, they will do this. This has come in clutch twice today to win me games. So we just swing. put Dawn's under him and attack? Yep. Uh, swing 7k. Oh, this uh, guy. This guy. 7, 7, 7. And then I put the other uh, uh, 4 Dawn on him. 7. Uh, yeah, don't sleep on Helmepo just for attacking, but having 3 help guarantee you have them in the trash at some point um or to have them in your hand just to utilize uh one thing that people uh need to learn with Gekko Moria is when you have a full board of characters which happens a lot you also have to plan when you play another character you trash one of your five and it's really helpful when he's one of them you don't have a hell mepo you can then plan to trash it with Moria and play the Moria to bring him back for that same exact thing. That's something. Uh, I run two Kuzan. Some people run three, some people run one. I think two's a really nice sweet spot. All preference at that point, but he's very good, of course, in yellow. Uh, I'm actually even starting liking play him into Sakazuki, knowing he'll get removed. At least I'll Is it just playing him for bait? I'm baiting a Helm Blaze because I don't want him to Helm Blaze my Absaloms. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing. Helm a good Sakazuki player will Helm Blaze only the Absalom. And if they do that, two of your Absaloms and you don't see any more, mm. you pretty much do. Even if you have Rob Lucci, Absalom is arguably more important. Even though Rob Lucci can pop two bodies, just having this from Yeah, being recurable. Yeah. Uh, I run two Borsalino. Personally, I'm only running it because you can play it sometimes from Moria. Otherwise, this is actually the worst card. Mm. Uh, yeah, I know. He's a great blocker. Um, but with all the Amaru freaking uh, uh, being a four cost with a blocker, it's just not good at all. He is just unfortunately infinitely worse than Sabo. Mm -hmm. If I could, I'd run six Sabo <laughs> and just replace it with him, but I have to do what I can. Um, my main goal with this is we'll play with Moria, but depending in the, my entirety of the eight rounds I did, I never used Moria into, mm -hmm. Mori into Kuzan. Never more of Wow. Because they're just in the game state, 
Like this was just a complete waste of a mm. play. Um. So yeah. Uh, honestly, I would cut it out, but I'd probably just put it to one and probably uh, add one more to the next card, which was a very strong card. I run one Hina. Um, I should be running two, and most people should be running two, because I also run two. Uh, I ran one because, personally for me, the Hina, it was really good. It was really strong. I just don't like that it's a dead card in hand, even though you can cycle with leader ability. But the one came up a lot of times. In my eight rounds, I saw this mm. and it clutched all four games. Six on turn one going first. Playing this into Absalom is absolutely backward. So strong. On your seven Don turn, doing the same thing, but you switch seven, broken. Um, so if anything, I would just actually take the Borsal Um This is also a controversial. I think I will not be all and buy it. Or Sabo. Sabo is arguably the best card in the deck. Even better than all these Thrill of Art cards, even better than all. Mm. Uh, this single handedly solves the Kata Curry matchup. If you see one, you have a good chance of winning. If you see two, you won the game. Mm. You cannot lose. The only way you can lose is if they have all 14 2K counters and stuff like Feel Bad Man, Reject, <laughs> and all that stupid crap. Uh, he's an attacker. Uh, the KO protection does basically what Borsalino does, and it's like, uh, people will often say, well, he's permanent. Well, no one cares about permanent if games end on turn four. Yeah. So you want the value right then and there. Mm -hmm. One thing I see a lot of people misplay, this is something you should do, is on the turn you play him, if you're fighting especially yellow, a lot of stuff that can pop. Play him first. People always forget and they'll just swing. Yeah, get punished by Onami. Punished. And it's like, oh, I got value at least. For I mean, if you play this, the Onami just stays in the opponent's hand and you protect your board. And it forces them to even uh, to either try going for your life or going after your board. If they're going after your board, you're doing something. So again, best arguably best card in deck. This I played it in all my matchups, even against Sakazuki, which is easy to be removed, just to cycle my hand. Again, the, the cycle yeah, part is, great. The cycle part is even like the worst of the effects, and it's still amazing. Like uh, I run two Rebecca. This one's very good. I can't really see putting more of it in, but I mean, it's a really good card. This is not like a typical black deck that will Rebecca and Mahina into Rob Lucci. This main uh, effect of Rebecca is to grab the Sabo. Because mm. without this, if Sabo's in trash, you never see Sabo again. And in yellow, because yellow is pretty much everywhere with Kata Curry, you need this Sabo. I am milling, which happens a lot with Sindri uh, and Brand New. I'll have like three Sabos. Mm. I need to get it back. So I didn't run Rebecca before, but I play Rebecca specifically for getting the Sabo. Mm -hmm. Did you play more? Huh? Play more Rebecca's? No, I played zero um, when I had it. So I was like, ah, the Rebecca part is not really mm -hmm. that good. But it also has the benefit if you need to survive a little bit, you can grab back the Corona and the two. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can. You could. Um, but the main goal of this deck is to grab the Sabo. It's that important. Mm hmm. Um, I run three Lucci again. Oh, it's him! It's him! Yeah. It's Rob Lucci! Yeah, my Ooh. little shoujo one. Yeah. Um, the main thing of Lucci is you want him in trash. Uh, I maybe twice in the eight rounds I played him from hand. Um, on my sixth on turn, I wanted to get rid of uh, I forgot what it was, Tina and something. Else. Played Helmepo and then I played Lucci. Both of them on the field. Uh, it feels bad because I couldn't use leader ability, but that was all I could do. So he's there, but he's mainly just a target for guys. Play soccer too. And then the events. Um, I run three Great Eruption and four Ice. Age. Uh, most people will say this, and I give them Ice Age not too important for this leader. Yeah. Until like I mean, minus five is pretty good, you know. Yeah, it's really good. I need that specifically for Absalom. Unfortunately, it still doesn't work on high cost characters because you need to use a lot of resources. This is very good to get through Okiku before you end up life. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the closing thing for this uh, deck list is obviously I, all I would change is add the Borsalino for the Hina, so two Hinas, uh, one less Borsalino. Yeah, it's one less counter, but I'd rather have the utility that Hina provides mm -hmm. because, as I said, this is only just a 1k count. Didn't play it. Yes. 
single time in this eight round bump <laughs> at all. And it feels bad. I played every other card at least, except this card. This was just in my trash. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think in OPO6, I think Gekko Mori is such a strong leader. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of people obviously don't underestimate it. You know the matchups, you know what to do in them. This leader's arguably most of the time you want to go first, except for arguably, in my opinion, leader. The fact that I can just cost less, four costs and less feels bad. Um, do you want to go second? Gustavo's good. Uh, you want to go first in pretty much 90% of your matches, especially uh, yellow. So, what were your matchups? Did you remember them? Yes. Uh, I fought four Katakuri, uh, two Sakazuki. Oh, it's it's running the a, meta one Enel and one non. Ironically, I lost. Him. And uh, was it your final record was uh, seven one, right? Seven one. I lost in round one. <laughs> I went on a gauntlet. Yeah, seven zero. Oh. He's going to be out today. And and Nami was the one that he's beat that one life said I never again. And uh, yeah, so I think that's why I really like it. stronger in OPO seven. But yeah, the deck profile for OPO six. Thank you guys for having me here. Appreciate it. Yeah, final thoughts, final words, anything else you want to say? Uh, PO1 can't come with the Purple Law. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right. All right. Thanks, Paul. All right. Okay, Good, thanks. Man. Bye. Bye.